Hi, and welcome back to Lizard Studios. Today, you are going to be making a painting. Yes, you're gonna be painting two birds on a perch. And you are going to be choosing your own color scheme from the color wheel. I'm also gonna show you two famous artists that painted birds. Their names were Hector Giacomelli and Jacob Bogdani. Now, let's begin and let's see what materials we need for today, all right? Today you're gonna need a pencil, a white piece of paper, a tray or an egg carton. You are going to also need the, the egg carton and the tray to put the paint in, okay? You're gonna need three paint brushes. I use the 12, an eight, and a four because they have different sizes, okay? You're gonna need a cup of water, a paper towel, and also four colors from the color wheel and the color scheme that we're gonna choose now, okay? Now, the first thing that we're gonna do today is talk about the color scheme. And I'm gonna show you the color scheme that I have chosen. What is a color scheme? A color scheme are colors that work really well together and they are side by side on the color wheel. For example, today I chose from the blue color all the way to the red, okay? And these, this is the combination that I am going to use. Now I have pink here because this pink kind of goes into the red, okay? Red and white are pink, so it goes into this section right here, all right? Now you can choose any section here, all the way from red to yellow, okay? Any of those variation of colors from yellow to blue, all this variation of color, and that will be a color scheme. When you put those colors together to design something or to color, give color to a painting or to a drawing, everything blends in and looks more unified, okay? So that's what you wanna do. Choose from the color wheel the colors that you want to use or the ones that you like best, okay? That depends on you. Now, um, we're gonna do that. Uh, so these are the ones that I chose and um, today I wanted to talk to you about an artist also and I wanted to show you this painting by Hector Giacomelli. It's called Birds on a Perch, okay? And he shows it because he observed birds, how they sat together, how they got all together, how their behavior was, and he thought it was really fantastic, so he painted it. Many artists have been inspired by birds. Why? Because some birds are exotic, ex very exotic. They're different. They are impressive to look at because they have different colors on their feathers. Another artist that also painted birds was Jacob Bogdani. He painted flamingos and birds in a landscape. That's the name of this painting right here in back of me. And he was inspired by exotic birds, like I was telling you, and he chose to paint these birds. Today, we are going to paint two birds sitting one next to the other, okay? And we are going to put that color scheme in and everything's gonna work out fine to unify the whole space, okay? So let's begin painting. Well, let's begin drawing and then we'll add the paint, okay? So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some marks here, like halfway, you don't have to do it, just look and just follow, okay? I'm gonna make some marks just like this really quick and I'm gonna make the perch where the birds are sitting on. I'm gonna make it right here. I'm gonna make it <clears throat> like a circle, a little bit circular like this, okay? To get some, because I, that later on, I'm gonna put some feathers down here. So that's why I make it like a little bit of a circle, okay? A curve. I'm gonna draw one bird right here. And I'm gonna draw the other bird, maybe a little bit bigger next to it, okay? Maybe a mom, a little bird, a bigger bird and a smaller bird. I don't know, just like that. It, to give it some, um, some difference, all right? The first thing that I'm going to do is draw the eyes, okay? So I'm gonna make two big eyes because I want my birds to have big eyes and eyelids, why not? And two big eyes, eyelids. <clears throat> and I am going to make my bird looking at the other bird. Why, why not? 
So this bar is going to be looking over here. So I'm going to make its pupils looking over here. And then this bar is going to be looking forward. Like, mm -hmm. So one's looking at the other one. Then I'm going to make a little beak in the middle. I'm just going to draw a little beak right here. All right? And I am going to draw now some feet. So I'm going to draw one, two, three. Or the little toes, you know. How do you call them? The feet of birds. Each little toe is different. And I'm going to draw them right there. Okay? The next thing that I'm going to do is draw some feathers. Well, some feathers. Some wings. Maybe the wings on this one will go behind this one right here. Okay, because they're sitting all cozy together. And now I'm going to do some feathers on their heads. Draw some feathers on their heads. Okay, and now I'm going to draw a tail right down here. Three feathers also. Bigger feathers. And... This one's bigger, so I'm gonna draw some bigger feathers. Okay, so there we go. We have the drawing of the birds. Now I am going to put some paint here on my um, on my tray, and we're going to begin painting. Let's do it. Okay, so now we are going to begin painting the inside of the birds. Okay. I am going to take my thick brush, well, my uh, medium-sized brush, why not? Okay, a little bit of water, and I have to choose a color. Hmm, what color should I choose? Maybe red and uh, purple. So the first one that I'm going to choose is red. And I'm going to paint uh, this bird red, okay? So I'm just going to paint the body red. Now, when I am painting this bird, what I want to do is make the strokes go down like this, like after I'm painting it, because that looks like if it's the feathers that are covering the bird, okay? So the strokes have to be going down, the strokes of the paintbrush. And then I am going to paint, look here on the paper, I am going to paint one feather at the top red, as you see, And one feather at the bottom red and I am going to do the opposite on the other bird okay and that's that for the red okay now I'm gonna choose another color the other color that I said I was going to use was the purple right so, I'm going to put some, a little bit of water here on the purple so I could use it. And I'm going to do the opposite. Now, I am going to paint on the other bird the purple feathers. Now, on the red bird, I am going to make some purple eyes and on the purple bird, I am going to make some red eyes. The next step that I'm going to take is to paint the toes, okay, or the feet, the little feet here and the beaks and also the eyelashes. So let's do that. I'm going to use the blue now to do that. So the beaks are going to be blue. Both of them, why not? The beaks. Blue toes. And like that, you can use your color scheme however you want. I mean, if you want to make your toes, your little uh, feet of the bird another color, then you could do that too, okay? Alright, 
and that's how I'm gonna do this one. Now, what am I gonna use for the background? For the background, I think I'm gonna use also blue. And then in pink, let's see, let's see. Hold on a second. I am going to put also blue on the eyelashes here. Let's see. Why not? It looks really nice. Remember, in next lesson, we're here, we're setting down the first uh, paint, okay? But then in the next lesson, we are also going to use black and we are going to outline everything with black paint. So don't worry if you come out of the line painting or if you don't do it the way that you thought you were gonna do it inside the line because it's all gonna change. We're gonna use another paint to, uh, we're gonna use black paint to outline everything. So it's gonna be better. So now I'm gonna paint the outside and I'm gonna paint this uh, purse right here. So just watch. Okay, and now we have finished painting our two birds on a perch. Look, this is what I did. When I was painting, I saw that my birds were going to be painting on the, the table. So I put a little piece of newspaper down. Okay, it depends where you're painting at. I put the newspaper down so I wouldn't get the paint on the table. Okay, so that's why I did that. Now we are finished with our painting for today. On the next lesson, what we are going to do is take black paint and we're going to outline the whole entire painting to make everything come out and look wonderful and finish it up, okay? So for today, this is all you have to do. What I am going to do, that I always do, is write my name just with the, pen, the pencil right here. I'm going to write this right here, just on top of the paint, it's okay, this art. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave it like that to know that it's your uh, painting. So when you put it away and it dries, you know it's your painting next week, okay? So let's go over everything that we have done today. First, we talked about color schemes, okay? Remember that the color schemes are on the color wheel, all right? And you take from one primary color to the other primary color, from yellow to blue, from blue to red, from red, to yellow and you take those different uh, colors and that's a color scheme when you put that color scheme together see how nice everything blends in the colors blend in together a little bit more and your paintings your works of art are going to look better today we also looked at two paintings we looked at two paintings by two very famous artists uh, Hector Giacomelli okay and Jacob Bogdani which also painted birds and got inspired by birds. So, I'll see you next week, guys. Put this away, take care of it, and next week we finish it completely. So you could give it to somebody, so you could save it, or so you could just enjoy it at your house, okay? So see you next week. Bye-bye.